us if uh, you, you do agree that there are things like beauty pageants, right? You would They're agree with me on that? Superficial, yeah. Uh, can you speak into the mic or I can't hear yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, beauty pageants are very superficial. Yeah, yeah, but you, you do agree that they exist? Yeah, they exist. Yeah, you got to speak into the mic or I can't hear you. Yeah, they exist. Okay, great. So at a beauty pageant, what are the th types of things you think that are judged? I don't know. I've never been to one. You've never seen a beauty pageant? Well, well, if you just had Not to guess. Really. I mean, I don't know. They do like the little rating signs stuff. It's debating yeah. on little girls, which is a weird, another whole other. Yeah, weird all right, yeah, I get it, but that's not the conversation that we're having. Okay. And no, you can have beauty. You can have beauty pageants with 25, 30 year olds. They're very common. Mm. Uh, so they hold up the little signs. Those little signs have numbers, and those numbers on the signs are allocating a rating, usually somewhere between one and ten, right? Mm. So if you were to say that. Um, you had 1,000 people who were holding up those little signs, and you were in the beauty pageant, what do you think most of the signs would say? I don't know, because I don't know what other people think about me. You're talking uh, to well, her I, like I, she's a little I, kid. I, I, Come on. I totally, totally yeah. understand that you don't know what other people think about you. There's no way for you to know that. Yeah. Um, but I think you can take an educated guess as to what you think that those signs would say. So for me, I think that the signs would pretty much uh, range somewhere between three to five, and I would probably center somewhere around four. I would just, that's just a guess, though. For himself? For yeah, yourself? For me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if you read over on the three, though, they're not. <clears throat> I don't know. It's the same question. She's not going to answer. It's not, it's not the same question, though. I'm not asking her to rate herself. So that would be the asking opposite what, of the rate yourself so question. That would other, be asking other people, if other people were yeah. rating you, what do you think that a thousand of them, if they were holding up signs, what do you think that would kind of end up centering? I mean, it probably around? range. It depends on like someone's personal like. I I, I I can't hear a word you say because you just won't speak into oh the mic. God. What you should do is tilt. <laughs> so the top of it, tilt it up towards your mouth. There you go, and then speak right into it. Because that's how the audience and me hear you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just wouldn't rate myself. I don't know. Why is it like? She's well, you're not it's rating. A you're not, you're not rating or, yourself, though. Oh well, if someone else were to, I don't know how would I. I just no. rated you. I rated she you. She rated me a nine. So Hold on. Allow him to have nice. his conversation. Yeah, you're you're not rating yourself in this scenario. I'm not, I'm not even interested in your self rating. I'm interested in what you think that the people in the crowd would rate you. In a crowd full of people, I couldn't say who, what they would rate. You kind of just sound to. like you're asking a question like a cop would ask you if you're drunk in a bunch of different ways just to get you to admit guilt. It's like you're asking her to assume what other people would rate her based on her rating of herself damn near. Like it's the same question just reversed in a different way to try and get her to answer it. You know what I mean? It's like if a cop asks you no, how many drinks. No, I don't know drinks... what you mean. They're two completely different questions. So for instance, if well, you said Well, it's Andrew, because of your own narrative in your on, head. You know, I'll, I'll explain. If you said, Andrew, uh, what do you rate yourself? I could say, oh, I rate myself a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 10. I could say any of those things. However, my answer may drastically change if you said there was a 1,000 women with signs rating you. What do you think they would rate you? Not only is this not the same question, but it could have two totally different answers. Well, if you're asking a completely different question than Brian's asking, then what's the point of her answering it? Am I not place, allowed to ask a different question than Brian's asking? But he's harping on the fact that he wants his question answered. So if you're asking... Yeah, I, I, under, I understand. I'm asking a totally different question. My purpose at this point is just to determine if uh, she's bad faith or not, if she's willing to actually engage with that the spirit of a question which is asked. So you do understand that there's a distinction between obfuscating away from answering a question, which is fine, uh, or answering away from the spirit of a question. Like, for instance, malicious compliance. If I were to say something to you like, hey, can you hand me that Coke? And you said no, because it's a Pepsi. That would not actually be going with the spirit of the request, right? That would be what's called malicious compliance. So I'm just trying, I'm just curious if, uh, if, if you'll answer any questions. I did answer. Yeah, so can you, can, you answer, can you answer to mine? I already said zero and I said nine and then... Uh... I don't well, know. You gave, that's two totally different answers. Because I don't want to rate myself. I don't know what I am, and I don't know what other people think of me. So, like, I wouldn't want to just, like, say, like, oh, this, uh, that's just weird. Like, no? No, I get it. Like, <laughs> is that not weird? I mean, if, if I she's not... No, I, I, I mean, I don't think it's weird. 
I think that uh, what, what's trying to be determined here, so that you understand the spirit of why this is asked, um, wouldn't you consider that there are people who have narcissistic tendencies? And if they did have narcissistic tendencies, one such tendency would, that you, would be that you had misplaced confidence in yourself that did not actually map onto reality. That would be a good trait of determining a narcissist. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of wonder if you're moving into this idea that there could be potentially female narcissism and they gave you these kind of wild answers about a self-rating or how they believe other people would rate themselves, wouldn't that kind of allude if you heard that often enough that there could be some merit to the idea that women are experiencing narcissism in mass. Yeah, so if you think that, you know, the the point of the question is to extinguish whether or not a woman has um, unnecessary confidence, or however you put it, sorry, I'm not quoting you directly, but however you put it, if it's to counteract if there's a narcissistic woman in the room and has, like, irrational confidence that doesn't base up or doesn't match up with reality if her not answering shows is does that show that she's not a narcissist if she doesn't feel yeah, I think I, well I think it does and I can kind of give you my reasoning why so I think that if you were to avoid a simple question when it's very clear at least to the onlookers that you do have some kind of answer to it you just don't want to actually give it because you're afraid of the repercussions of what people might think about you if you told them the I truth. Mean, she came well, out here and on, said her on, body count. On, let, me, let me explain the rationale and then you can respond. I think that if that is the case, then yeah, I think that would allude to some kind of large ego or some perhaps what I would consider to be female narcissistic tendencies because why avoid the question? That's just very can odd I, to me. I, See, that's I, what's I, weird I, to me. I think if you if you were here uh, from the beginning of the show, you would know she's not a narcissist. It comes from a place quite the opposite. So you can't like judge people right off the bat. What place does it does it her refusal from, come from? It could be a place from uh, low confidence, some insecurity, how she's perceived by others, what it may make her look like to others. It comes from a place of fear, I think, in a way. I've yeah, well, I mean, so so there's, I mean, all of these are direct possibilities, I agree, but I think that the way a person would answer such a question would show us which of those possibilities it's more aligned with, wouldn't you? She literally just said that she could either be a zero and she's fine accepting a zero or she's fine accepting a nine. She doesn't care about rating herself. Yeah, I just... It doesn't yeah, make well, her a no, narcissist I, or... Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand what that has to do with what my question just was. Depending on how a person would answer such a question, it could give you some insight into how it is that their mentality actually is when it's mapped onto reality. So are you just saying, well, um, I avoid the question by saying it could be any of these things. We all know that it could be any of these things. Nobody disputes it could it be any really of these avoided. things. It could be zero, I and it could be 10, it could be 8, could be 7.5, it could be 6.6, it could be any variation thereof. We just want to hear which one it is. But, well, I didn't have an answer. I don't you know. don't have to answer. That's true. Would you date a guy who's broke? Yeah, I have. I financially support okay, a man. Okay, you have. Sucks. Would you prefer to date a man who has money? Yeah, but. Isn't that a numerical happens. value judgment? You're judging a man based off of. Not really, because I don't judge if they're broke or have money. I don't care. You don't care at all. No. You'll date a guy who works at McDonald's. I dated a guy who had not even a bank you, account. Yes, you. Cool. You could have <laughs> been 18 and you were dating a guy who was your age and he mm. didn't have money. No, I witnessed her I, dating a guy who you didn't used, have a job. You used to date. You dating somebody in the past has no bearing on your current preferences. Current preferences range because I do hang with guys that are wealthy and I do hang with guys that are dirt broke. So I don't know. It ranges. Uh, can I say something about this argument? Because it's always brought up by so many people. And those guys that have money, that are very rich, they're adult men, they choose to be with women. They are not idiots. They probably realize why those women are there, and they choose to be with them. So there's something well, in those What does that women. have to do with... Well, because it, it kind of makes, oh, she's a gold digger. That's not what I'm implying at all. But some other people are. He's I mean, just trying. He's just trying no, the point I'm trying to make is you have an objection to this numerical value judgment. But yeah, I, like rating our looks. That's right, but a weird. corresponding value judgment, no. a corresponding value judgment I'm would really be choosing to. I'm not along with it, honestly. I just thought that was crazy to ask, even like to be like put a number on yourself. Are you like, saying a I guy if, if? But I, you okay? There, when I asked you the question about, have you seen really attractive women dating men who are mid? Mm -hmm. You are doing 
a you are doing a categorization you are doing a rank ordering this person is more attractive than this person perhaps you don't in general, like there, there's people that have those opinions that are, someone can you got to tilt in, your mic down like, a little bit aim the mic yeah. straight at you here you guys just take over that from now on just you got just fix the mics for people um okay so um you acknowledging that there are men who can be classed as mid mm -hmm. so instead of using numbers if we said 10 is perfect yeah, like a guy or someone like mid like that like, you wouldn't you know? say it to their face that's not the question also rating are there mid else's. are there mid guys also rating someone no no no, no, no. hold on are there slugs? mid guys i don't know to, to someone's perspective yes to someone else's perspective no well from your perspective are some men less attractive than others yeah yeah of course <laughs> yeah well if that's true then you have now made a ranked categorization the same, and that's the same I'm categorization we're asking with you. an actual number. Like, I would never do but that. But you're saying that there are men more attractive than other men. That's just kind of what they're saying. Yeah, but generalizing, but she, oh, this person's more attractive than this person and rating yourself is two totally different yeah. things. Well, uh, I, I, I don't really see how, really. So it, it seems to me that you would get the this, this state of whether or not you're attractive from the gaze of other people, not necessarily from yourself, or what standard would you be going off of? So if you can rate other men as being this one's less attractive than this one, I would assume that you could also probably rate females and say that this one's less attractive than this one. And though somehow when it comes to you, females you can't be objective with the not. standard, that's very strange to me. Mm -hmm. Why females? Definitely not. Because I love women. I... And you think, what about men? Men I have had, I don't know. I mean, you've had bad experiences with women too. That's yeah, true. you date you you find women sexually and romantically appealing, correct? Yeah, right. Of so, because I've heard this objection, well, I can't rank other women because I'm not attracted to them. But you are attracted to women, so that's not really. But I wouldn't rank them. I wouldn't rank anyone. Why do we have to rank people? Like that's just really. Mean. But you already did when you say that some men are less attractive than others. That's, you've ranked yeah, them. It's, it's a categorization. You're creating a hierarchy. <clears throat> you just don't like the the words used to describe the hierarchy, but there's a hierarchy nevertheless. Okay. Are you guys still talking only about looks or does it some yeah, other? Yeah, just looks. Aspect? Just looks. Why are you bringing up money then? How much money a guy makes? Well, the, talking that about, became he, a, he was talking about numerically. Oh, like their, yeah, so that became a segue and the reason that money was brought up is to say, well, wait, uh, clearly you can make some categorizations when it comes to preferences and what you would rather date or not date, even if it came to something that wasn't looks. But somehow you forget that looks, uh, you, you now suddenly can't rank anybody based on looks. Though you then admit that, wait, some men are less attractive than others, which means you're rating them by looks. I just don't want looks, to. So. Respectfully, that's all it is. I just said I'm not comfortable with rating myself, let alone someone yeah, else. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I was responding to her inquiry, not... No, yeah. no I, yeah. I, don't, I don't give a shit if you rate yourself or not. I think that it's just a waste of time at this point, honestly. So we have 110 at the table, then. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, are you prepared to then say, given the other women's ratings here, you're the only one who said 10, do you think you're the most attractive girl here? I Actually, when I said I was a 10, I said I believe all the other people in this room are a 10. Okay. I, yeah, I recall Including that. Including the guys. Everybody's a Including 10. Including the guys. Mm -hmm. I didn't say everybody. I said everybody in this room. But earlier, once again, if I can bring this back up, when I asked the question earlier of, have you ever seen a beautiful woman with yes. a mid guy? Yes. And I said yes, but I said everybody in this room is a 10, not everybody in general. Every... <laughs> well, the, I mean, what percentage of the population would you say is a 10? Mm. Looks wise for men and from women. my perception. Yeah, how, what's the percentage of the population that falls into the ten category? Maybe, like, that's a hard question. Actually, I'd say maybe under fifty percent, like thirty to forty percent of people are a ten. There's a lot of people in the world. So. Are we saying just based on looks or personality? This is just, just looks. Is it is it is so it face looks. looks or is it like body and everything? Just, just the, the whole, whole, package. Whole, whole package. I also think we have to think about you know people have certain types. To someone, I might be their type. And some people see me, they see the tattoos and the hair, and they're like, oh, you know, she's lower than a ten because well, she's like a specific niche type of yeah. alternative well, girl. Pretty. Okay, but well, so. 
So I've magically, even though it's a minority of people that are tens, I've somehow managed to just wrangle <laughs> every single person at this table is a ten. Wait, so um, hmm. you you just have the most beautiful people on this podcast. I'm the most beautiful in the world. Yeah, I guess I'm just I, a really good know. talent coordinator that always yeah. gets perfect ten models. You should change it to the beautiful podcast instead That's of the whatever. Right. Podcast. I probably should. I agree. But you should. I I definitely should. Um, so okay, so everyone's a ten. Not everyone's a ten, though. You said only twenty to, or thirty to forty to fifty percent of people are tens. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And what's the breakdown for like nine, eight, seven? Because that's a lot. That's a big percentage to be at ten. I to guess. To be perfect. I, th I think um, it comes from confidence. I think that's why I rated myself a ten because that's what I truly believe. And even when I may be like sick or at my lowest, I still think I'm a ten in that moment mm -hmm. because of my mindset. Can I bring up something that's kind of relevant, but it's a really interesting topic to me? Um, well, hold on. I have a f is it related to the rating thing? Yeah, kind of. Okay, go ahead. So like, um, <laughs> it, it is. So I think, well, in this society we live in now, right? Yeah. A lot of a lot of how maybe we compare ourselves or how other people um, compare you is how they see you online, right? And how you're perceived on social media and mm -hmm. you know the whole social media thing, right? Yeah. So when uh, there's so much AI now. Um, you know, coming into what? Life. And uh, like, so for example, some brands they're hiring a guy to create an AI model. So she's obviously very beautiful. So maybe in like five years, all the models online are going to be replaced with AI. So how do you think it's going to change our perception? How we're going to rate ourselves? No. Like, how, 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 you, how, you, <laughs> how did we get here? How do you, well, because think about well, it. Well, this is a this is a really good question. It's an interesting question. No, it, it definitely so, is an interesting question. I think it'll be easier, honestly, if if like all the like say you're going through like. Um, like Amazon and you're looking at like corsets or something like that or you're looking at articles of clothing like it's easier to not compare yourself to like not compare yourself to the models I'm talking about the no, models but is it going to be clothes. relevant what? is it going to be relevant in the scheme of things it's not going to be relevant because the AIs aren't real though like you're yeah, not going to compare like, yourself to a fucking robot. No, like I know. But it's your ten rating. Except people <laughs> yeah. have. That's the sad. But I'm it's not real why? either. But we don't live in the world that's real. We live in the world of fucking make believe. So I wouldn't worry too much <laughs> <Yeah>. about it. <laughs> yeah, if it's AI, it's all. I make feel like we do. Uh, okay. Um, so everybody's a ten. All guys are ten. Is there an equal distribution of ten women and ten men? Sure. Yeah, I would say so. You guys want to be so politically correct. I'm not trying to be politically correct. This sure. Is just how I yeah. Am. It's just like <laughs> yeah. I guess I just agree with whatever you're saying, so I can't get into an argument. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I'll have to ask a different question then. Do you think you'll be better looking in ten years than you are now? Starting with you. Mm. Into the mic. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Bro, <laughs> I don't you've know. come on a podcast. Every answer, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Just, I'm going to give you the pass on the 10 thing, but from here on out, just engage with the actual questions. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. I mean, 32. She's going to look this Okay. Thing. 32. I think, You'll be, I think so, I probably would look fine. Yeah. Did you? Okay. I want you to repeat back to me the question that I asked. Go ahead. You asked how I would look and how you think I would look in what 10 years you said try again <laughs> do you think no 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 I, try again well, okay then I don't know you said it once and I'm supposed to <laughs> yeah you're supposed to be listening to supposed to, supposed to remember this thing that he asked you once I mean I, well, I, I, you I, mean, I tell you that's a tall ago. order Brian hang on like, Brian you are asking a lot you're asking him questions you're only asking it one time maybe you should just repeat yourself you should be you, over and over um, again with every single person he asked. Okay, I will repeat the question. Do you think you will be better looking, your looks, will you be better looking in 10 years as compared to how you look now? So you're 22. Will you be better looking at 32 than you are now at 22? Probably not. I don't, I mean, probably not. No, I guess. Okay. Yes. So you'll be better looking at 32 than you are now at 22. I believe so, yes. What about 42? Um, 
Probably not. Okay. What about you? Um, You're 26. I better just, looking at 36. Yeah. Better looking at 46. Yeah. Better looking at 56. Would start get a little bit more down. <laughs> yeah. Um, just, a bit. just to be clear, so better looking at 46 <laughs> than 26. Um. Yes. Okay. Uh, and so you are you peaking in your late 40s, looks wise. It's not about like peaking. I. What's it about? Um, it's more about um, the internal power that comes with the wisdom. Here, repeat the question back to me. Okay, it's about the repeat, hotter... No, 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 just repeat the question back to me. Do you think you'll be hotter looking? That's not what I said. Repeat or the question back. Would you think you'll be better looking at 46? Yeah, so... So I do looking, think so. Better I, looking, visual... Okay, what, yes. What does, how does that have anything to do with your internal... Wisdom. So, Wisdom. Okay. Okay. Yes. Fuck? Okay. Yes. I Hold on. I, I Anonymous donated two hundred dollars. First time donating. Shout out to Margarita. Who's I'm that? a huge fan. All oh, of you okay. should listen to her <laughs> band, Edge of Paradise. <laughs> Great band. Uh, Take go. care. Oh, that's Yo, awesome. Yo, Anonymous. Thank you, man. That was the sweetest Yo. comment. Thank I you. Appreciate that. it. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Take so I'm I'm Take more care. on on the track now. So, okay. So I do think I will be better looking at 46 because with my health, I am trying to get better every single day. And I do find women in their 40s really, really attractive. And okay. I just like Repeat can't. Repeat the help question it. back to me. Do you think you will be better looking at 46? Yes, I do. Okay. But so the question wasn't, do you think you'll still be attractive at I, 46? I, I didn't say I'm not still. Saying, I, I'm not saying women can't be attractive But I didn't say still. 40s. But I didn't say still. I said, I do think I will be better looking in my 40s. Because m with my health... But you, but you said, because I've seen women who are in their 40s and they're attractive... She said because I'm not she's, saying she's that working that's on not her health. The case. Because I'm working on my on my own personal she said in the health. She's getting that she has a lot of health issues. Right. right. So, so, so with assuming, time, assuming your health did not improve in the negative or towards the positive at all, it just remained precisely how it is. Although that's typically not the case as you age. Typically, as you age, especially over the course of 20 years, your health is typically not going to be better. But I'll just grant that it'll just remain the same. Okay. Will you be better looking in 20 years? From my own personal perspective, I do think so. Because well, but you said you said because of health reasons, and I've excluded you using it health reasons. And that's fine. I just think that. So, what are the other reasons that you'll look better then? Because to me personally, a mature woman looks really more beautiful. Okay. So it's really just about the external beauty of it all. I'm if that is, if beautiful. that is actually the case, that you believe, from your perspective, yep. that women who are mature look more beautiful, then why don't you do makeup to make yourself look older? Um, because I don't actually usually mm, wear makeup at argument. all. Um, I've only You're done my eyes. You're wearing makeup right now. So again, I've only done my eyes for the podcast. But yeah, how come you didn't do your eyes in such a way to make yourself look ten years older? Because, That's a fantastic argument, by the way. Because I don't make anything different about myself. I only accentuate accentuate what I already have. So when I'm older, <laughs> yeah, but I would why? Just what accentuate. would be the point of that? If you believe that mature women are more beautiful than younger women, and you have makeup, and you can use the makeup to make yourself I look can. more mature, why wouldn't you then just use the makeup to make yourself look more mature? That because makes no sense. I think most of why the time, makeup look... does make you look older. It does make you look more mature. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look a lot younger if I don't have. No, but it doesn't makeup. make you look aged. Mm -hmm. So the thing yeah. is, is that when you're talking about age for maturity, which is what we're talking about for maturity, not emotional maturity, whatever bullshit you come up with, just age. Why don't you use makeup to make yourself appear to be 40 if you think that that would actually enhance your beauty? To, to add on to that, so if okay. you look at movies, for example, they do have makeup techniques that can make them look older, yeah. but you don't typically see women 
using those techniques, you know, that would create perhaps the perception of more wrinkles on the face, for okay. example. Why Usually, don't, if it was the case that women were more attractive when they were older. To me personally, because that was the question. Most, that was the question. Most would women I want to be more youthful. Most women I think do that that's even worse, youthful. though, because if it's only a personal standard and you're only upholding yourself to a personal standard and your personal standard is that if you were older, you would look better. Why in the hell wouldn't you personally apply the makeup to make yourself personally look older? Because I why would it. I change what I look like at all? If you think oh, you're oh so you hang on, hang on, wait a second. So you don't diet, you don't exercise, you don't go jogging, you don't do anything to change any I of the ways that you look. I actually don't. You don't, don't do anything ever to change. I don't diet, I don't change. exercise, I don't do anything to change my you appearance. You don't comb your hair. Okay, well, I comb my hair. You so don't that pluck your eyebrows. Okay, I you, you, right, you, don't, you don't do, I mean, you do all of these yeah, things. Yeah, I used to, to dye my hair all the time because that's just a reflective of my personality at, a to, at oh, that particular fine. time. Again, it, okay, everything is a constant change. But, like, why would I you make don't do myself? Yoga? No, I don't do yoga. Um, I can do yoga with my with my mobility. Um, so I actually when yeah, I was look 16, at the vascularity on the deltoid, like <laughs> yeah. So so I I actually when I was 16 I wanted to be a bodybuilder, and I trained. And after like six months, I've realized that I am not putting the muscle that uh, I want in comparison to my boyfriend, so and I quit. I'll ask my magic wand question. So if right now. I could wave a magic wand and you could advance your out, outside physical appearance 20 years. It would have no impact on your health, for example. You wouldn't age 20 years in terms because, you know, people have a, uh, you know, uh, what's the, the average age of death. It wouldn't get you 20 years closer to your, okay. the, the age you would otherwise die at. Just your outward appearance. No health ramifications. So like absolutely nothing. No negative health ramifications. You just advance your age the your appearance forward uh 20 years okay well if i wouldn't have to put on makeup every day to make myself look older and it just magically no, would happen instantly yeah i would totally do it you'd age yourself 20 years yeah outwardly. if if it does not have any effect on my no health it health. does not it does not do anything in how close i am to death like yeah no i do you think what about that, uh, what about for, what about 40 years in 40 years, so that would 40, be... 40, like, 40. Well, th that's what we were talking about. I think she said yeah, after yeah. Would you Would you age yourself forward with the same scenario? It doesn't take 40 years off your life. You just cosmetically look for 40 years older. Yeah, that's so what we were like talking about. Hang on, so you look like you're 60. Would you prefer to walk around looking like you're 60? No, I, I do think that after, like, once I get in my 50s, I would not the skin would sag in a way that I wouldn't necessarily be, you know. <laughs> okay. You're taking shots over. I, I'm okay, I'm talking about my own personal genes with my grandmother, who I look very much alike. Right. So yeah. I do not think I would be attractive after that particular age. That's it. Okay, that's fair. So you think that women in their 50s generally aren't tense? Right? No, I personally, again, we're talking about me personally. I have dated yeah, women in their 50s. Yeah, I'm talking about you personally. I've, I've, dated, I've dated women in their 60s, and they were you, gorgeous. Okay, so, so wait a second. I'm so not saying that some myself. women in their 60s, stop. I'm not saying some women in their 60s can't be gorgeous, though how many women in their 60s you've dated, I'm skeptical of. But assuming for a second well, that I'm even you dating. have dated women in their 60s uh, and they happen to be gorgeous, it does sound like you think that most women in their 60s likely are not gorgeous. Um, no. No? So then why wouldn't you want to be aged to 60? Because I just like the 40 stage. Like, that's what oh. I think is the peak for oh, beauty? the beauty with my uh -huh. particular genes because that's when my grandmother was the most beautiful. That's when I would feel the most empowered. You're a super colossal big baby. Donated $200.
Why do women always make it about feelings no one cares about the internals they are asking about external looks? And me too, I'm talking about external looks. I think my grandmother looked gorgeous in her 40s. I know I will look very similar to her. And then in her 50s, her body started to change in the ways that I would rather my body not change. Also, it's a, it's, a, it's a you guys are like asking an opinion-based question. Exactly. And so it's if somebody opinion. prefers to look a certain way then you, you you can say that they're wrong because you have a different opinion all day long until you're blue in the face but her opinion's not going to change on it so it's like i i love a debate and i love like disagreeing opinions but her opinion's not changed i don't think it's going to change so it's like what's the point in talking in circles about it i don't, I don't understand I, you know what i mean i agree because reality yeah i'm actually that. happy to engage with what you just said so let's start here you do agree with me that people can have all sorts of different opinions, but they're not necessarily going to be honest with you about what their actual opinion is, right? Not necessarily. Yeah. They could be honest with you, but they also could lie about their opinion, right? 100%. So, but what, well, if, I'm asking her. Hang on, let her answer. Oh, oh sorry. Um, I do agree that you can have different opinions and that each person might not be honest about their opinion or forthcoming mm -hmm. about it, but in a rebuttal... So hang on, so hang on. So you can do, you can do through a series of inquiries, by testing what it is that they are claiming, uh, whether or not if we map it onto reality, if they would hold that same opinion or if they would change that opinion. So it's possible that people are not always going to be forthcoming or honest about their opinion. And so when you say, well, it's just an opinion, that doesn't really mean anything. There's well, a good possibility that people, if they don't like the ramifications of where a question is going with their opinion, may not answer it honestly. But you're yeah, asking but why, for an opinion. But why, okay, but... When she is saying something that's completely different from everyone else at the table, why would she put herself in a in the wrong, a theoretical wrong point of view if it's not going to do her any good? She could have easily lied and gone with the same opinion yeah. that everyone else wants her to say. Let, the, let us but instead, well, let us test to see ground. if what you're saying if what you're saying makes sense or if what I'm saying makes sense. Let us assume for a second you were the only woman in that room who believed in Santa Claus. I'm assuming you don't believe that Santa Claus exists, correct? Are you talking to me or her? No. no yeah, her you. Me, obviously. Yeah, you don't believe. But let us assume for a second you did believe that Santa Claus existed and none of the other women there did, and you said it's just my opinion. And so then I pulled up a bunch of maps and I showed you that but in the North Pole... But that's a fact. Hang on. Stop. That in the North Pole there is no elves and there is no Santa, and all the satellite imaging we have would show that if such a thing existed, everybody you would you would literally be eliminated because of the extreme cold. And that it, then I mathematically demonstrated for you that it would be impossible for one man to deliver toys all over the earth in the middle of the night, and that magic isn't real. See what could you're that, asking. Hang on, could that change your opinion? See what you're asking is an opinion ba is not an opinion based question like what Brian asked about would you feel like you look better in 10 years time 20 years time etc that is an opinion based question I can have the opinion that you yes think Santa I will Claus look better down your uh, stop, night. That's an stop opinion based because question. I stop for you when you tell me to stop so I'm gonna tell you to stop now because I'm not done talking okay so when I, when I have an opinion you go girl you show me that sass and, oh. <laughs> You tell well, yeah, I'm not you trying to be sassy. I'm not trying screen, to be girl. sassy. You go. Oh, I'm not trying get in to be there. You're so good. See, I'm not trying to be sassy. <laughs> in no way am I trying to be rude to you. And anyway, I'm not laughing at your opinion. I'm not trying to like be sassy in any sense, way, or form. I'm literally just talking to you, and you're telling me stop in the middle of my conversation. So yes, I'm going to do the well, same no, to I'm you until you pause I was only to and let me finish my thought. Because so now so you derailed question, my train of thought. Point. Okay. Yeah, but it was my turn to speak. That's why I asked you to stop. Yeah. And it was my turn to speak, and you started. So that's why I said stop, and then you called me sassy. But I didn't yeah, call you names when a, you told I me to stop. I didn't call you sassy. You just you made that again. up. See? Okay. I think you just like to talk over women. And I remember seeing a clip of you calling a woman a bitch on here, too. So don't even get me started. I would like to was she finish being, my thought Was she being quick. a stupid bitch? I don't care. I would like to <laughs> You don't care? What is she like being a stupid bitch? Okay. Like, I, our, do you think that women are incapable of being so stupid bitches? Because, man, I got to tell you, the number one insult I hear from women about other women and so is this way. word. Can bitch. Can a She's question? a bitch. That's the number That's one insult I hear. Can I ask <laughs> you a question? But can I ask you a question? Well, I'd like her to finish her exchange okay. for rant. She's, okay. she's welcome to. No, I'm good. I'd rather not be talked over, so it's fine. It's fine. You can just... What I, all I was trying to say was that 
he asked an opinion-based question, correct? So it's an opinion. What you said and your counter argument was, do I believe in Santa Claus? If I believed in Santa Claus, that's, that's a factual question. Santa Claus does not exist. So there's no, that's not the same type of question. You're asking yeah, a I factual question rather than an opinion-based question. And yeah, I, was, and, and I want to apologize if I came off sassy by telling you to stop, but I simply did the exact same thing that you did to me. You were just yeah, do, you were no, just don't you think when, you, when well, you're talking about an opinion, <laughs> when you're saying, okay, such and such opinion, uh, don't you think that an opinion that you hold is a fact to you? This is factual to you. There's a so difference saying, between a fact and an opinion. Oh, really? You What's the difference? You can have an opinion about anything mm -hmm. and it not be opinion. a personal right. opinion. Yeah. And you're asking sure. a personal opinion-based question, whether mm -hmm. you think you look better at so-and-so age, and that is up to the person that, th that thinks whatever they want to think, whether it's they look better younger, older, whatever. I'm not agreeing that I would look, I don't think I would look better in 10 years, 20 years, but I'm not going to discredit her opinion, and it's not the same as asking if Santa Claus exists. So, what if your opinion was that Santa Claus existed? Wouldn't that be a fact to you? That's not a fact, though. In, in yeah, reality, I'm not Santa saying Claus doesn't true. exist. I'm not I'm saying it's true. I'm asking if it would be a fact It's a to belief, you. not an opinion. He's saying that it's a fact that when you have more wrinkles, you Does don't. anyone else understand the I argument do. that yeah. I'm yeah. giving but right yeah, now? No, 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 yes, in fact, like, I'll steal in your am argument. Am I coming off like you're a dumb the, bitch? Am I coming off like that? No, 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 he's trying to argue with you that it's the same thing because to him, it's a fact that when you have more wrinkles, you're less attractive. When her thing, she's saying it's a fact to her, that having more wrinkles to you, or not, and not both, more wrinkles, both are in not fact, being more mature. Both are yeah, actually not facts, facts they're opinions. Yeah, I know, but we can argue that all day whether Where Santa Claus exists. I want to ask you a question because I have genuine, genuine yes. curiosity. So when you ask those questions and when you argue your point, you have a certain um, outlook on women in, you know, over that have certain opinions, right? Because uh, like to you, what does this question m mean? Like, what are you trying to change perception of those women that you have an opinion of? I'm trying well, I'm to trying phrase to, it. <laughs> right. I, so for it? me, uh, I don't really ask the ratings question much. I just engage in it, right? So ultimately, if you're asking my perspective, I don't give a shit what any of you think. But uh, but because this is a show where we are supposed to engage with another person's opinion and what they think, I still would actually like to understand the reasoning as to how somebody can come to such absurd conclusions about things that I clearly know that they don't believe. I have mommy within, issues. Hang on. Within a series of quick questions, we can make a determination they clearly don't believe it. The same way you can if somebody says, oh, I hold the opinion Santa Claus kisses mommy every year at Christmas. You could say, okay, but I can demonstrate that you're I, holding a false belief, totally. even if it's your opinion that it's true. I even if it's it. an opinion, hang on, even if the opinion is factual to you, it doesn't mean that it's true. So saying something like, oh, I would rate myself uh, at 40 to be more good looking uh, based on my genes uh, than not. That's my opinion. I and so therefore you, you can't refute it. But you can actually refute these things if you give some other commonality that a person agrees to they start to question their opinion. That's the whole point of it. I get it. So um, my question is, you have a problem with someone who's trying to argue that to them, at 40, they'll feel like you, they will look better. So you have a problem with someone that kind of doesn't go with the reality that we perceive. Only if it's inconsistent. Perhaps it could How be possible. It could be possible, for instance, that somebody could give a really good reasoned answer. That is, it's reasoned out well, and it's argued well, as to why they think that 45-year-old women are generally more attractive than 25-year-old women, for instance. I would be willing to listen and engage in the argument and have my mind changed about it. But that's not what happens. What happens instead is obfuscation, bullshit, lies, and everything in the world to try to avoid answering the thing which is obvious to everybody. Which so is here's what I think. Well, I'll tell you, you, I'm going to tell you my opinion. My opinion. Is it an opinion or a belief? This is my opinion. Okay, it's just an my opinion. opinion so okay, you cool. have to hold it as being valid, right? Because it's just my opinion. All of the women in the room who said they were tens are lying. That's my opinion. There was only one. Um, so w one more question. For, so without us talking in like huge generalities, if someone was like extremely, 
I don't know, overweight or something in all through their 20s or 30s that you would perceive as non-attractive and then they lose all the weight and then they get in shape and then they look great and, you know, t to you, obviously, they're going to be more attractive. So in that case, you would agree, right? That sure. So I would always make, I never put anything in a monolith. I would never say all anything. So I would never, for instance, say that just because on average there are women uh, who are almost no women in their 40s are going to be more attractive than their 20-year-old self. That doesn't mean that I wouldn't say that there wouldn't be some who could be, because obviously there could. So um, but that's, that's based on saying, your own no, attraction values, though. It's yeah, not but, based on but so my here's the thing. I hold values. a different belief. I think that there are universal metrics for attraction. And the reason that I believe that this must be true is because cross-culturally, uh, almost in every culture, when we look at historical beauty standards even, there's remarkable similarities when it comes to the picturesque of a woman that men go for and for the types of men that women go for. Most of the statues that we see that are, in, that are showing enlightened men, for instance, they're somewhat muscular, they're tall, this kind of thing. It and seems that the men. attractiveness, the universal metrics for this, don't really change that much. I do think that culturally there's going to be some relativism when it comes to some things. For instance, perhaps there's a culture where women wear rings around their neck and it stretches their neck. And so if you see women who don't have that, you might it might seem odd to you. It might not seem like that's an attractive feature. Whereas you, I think you would still find uh, hip ratio to breast ratio to still be attractive and this kind of thing. I do think that there are some universalities because otherwise how would you know what is or is not a healthy female to breed with? How would you know that? So to you, it's well. Basically, what if in like ten years there is something that reverses the way you look? So is this question going to be relevant to you? So is there more to more to it, or is it just based on? Because yeah, I think there was she, yeah. So if there was a magic, let's say there was a magic pill, or not a magic, a scientific pill, which reversed the aging process. Uh, well, then what would happen then is we would still be correct because what women would be doing is reversing their 40-year-old age to their 20-year-old age because that's more attractive. But do you think <laughs> that, then, but do you think, point, right? no, 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 I know, I'm saying, do you think, for, for example, if there's a woman in her 50s and there's a woman in her 20s and you can't really tell physically how they look, would you choose someone in their 20s that's less experienced or someone in their 50s, but like the face, the wrinkles, physically they kind of look similar? Today or who's more attractive? Uh, attractive, like so this personality, maybe someone with more experience so wisdom, does that play part, or is it only based on like you can't tell a difference? Who yeah, so date? so you can you can ask uh, you can ask the same question a different way, and you would end up with the same exact answer. You could say, okay, if you had two twenty-year-old women and you couldn't tell that you know, uh, or t or you had a twenty-five-year-old woman and you had twenty-year-old woman, or a twenty-one-year-old woman and a twenty-seven-year-old woman, and they looked like they were the same age, would you choose based on personality traits if they were almost equally attractive? Yeah, sure, of course that would come into it. But that really doesn't have anything to do with whether or not the att attractiveness traits themselves were there. I think, so I, was, I, think okay. I was making a question because I've heard some arguments in the past that some guys go for younger women because they feel like they are more moldable. I don't know. Yeah, but, so, but, but hang on. That's a yeah. different question. And I'm happy to engage with that one, yeah. too. Yeah. I do think, for instance, if we were to take your comparison, there's a 45-year-old woman who took an anti-aging pill. Now she looks exactly like her 20-year-old self. Mm -hmm. And then you have a 20-year-old woman who's next to her, right? At that point, would the beauty standard be the only thing the man is going for? Right. I still think a man would often go for the 20-year-old, the one who's innately 20, mm -hmm. right? Why? Because she would have less baggage. But mm -hmm. what if uh, the other woman is more intellectually engaging? He enjoys more time with spending I think, time with I think that men care far less about female intellect Not than you think. Not in my think. experience. That's, that's one. And then two, <laughs> Not in my experience. I think that they care the most about baggage. I think they care about baggage more than anything. Not in my experience, but I, he's also, I, I he's respect an older, your opinion. He's an older gentleman, so I mean, he's kind of been around. Well, I'm with an older gentleman with a 50-year-old. Okay. That's valid. But I'm also, saying, like, everyone's okay. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm guessing that he really values you for your intellect, huh? There, there are, That's what he I values in you, is your intelligence. Is, is it because he can have long, oh all-night conversations with you? Yes. Or does he perhaps value you more because he thinks you're young and hot? No, no. No, of course not. No. Nah. Nah, that Wait, doesn't even—it doesn't even come into play. Is, this is very. This it's because is you're very mature for your age. <laughs> so, <laughs> right? uh, how old do you think I am? Uh, how old do you think yeah. I am? 
<laughs> I'm, okay. I'm older than you think, actually. So what? someone who Well, how has, old are you? How old do you think I am? Let's... I don't know. I would say late 20s, early 30s. I'm 34. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so early 30s. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, right about there. So the thing is, is again, I think that um, just, now this is just a guess. <laughs> just, just, just my shot in the dark. But I think that he probably values your physical attractiveness even more than he does your intellect. And I know how that sounds. It must sound awful No, no, on no, it doesn't end. sound awful. But I completely, the thing, the thing I, is, is, uh, I, think it's, I think it's actually realistic for me to point these things out because they are true. No, 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 I totally agree. And that's why he really looks after himself because he realizes he doesn't want to look bad for me. So I don't disregard your opinion. If I look yeah. different... He might not like me, but I think it's not just the look that a guy a guy is not going to hold a woman if she's not going to be there for him intellectually and physically. I don't think yeah. there is one Hang thing. On. The, let me give a little pushback here. Not so sure that, that what you would consider the value of intellectuals, the same that I would value. So, for instance, let me ask you then specifically, when you say he values your intellect, what about you is so intellectual that should be valued? No, I'm saying he values both. He values the fact yeah, that Yeah, I know, I know, but answer to I, my question. Get, what about you is so intellectual that it should be valued? Well, first of all, I'm not saying I'm like this crazy intellectual person, but I'm someone that he can engage on any level of conversation with. Any so level? For him, for him at any level, yes. So but, can uh, he sit down and talk to you about how the carburetor is broken and ask for your advice on how he should fix it? No, no, no. I'm saying to him. He's never. He's not the type of person that that's not what interests him. I'm saying based well, on our common interests, I'm the person that can engage with him on those conversations. Well, let's see if that's true. What, what are the things that interest him that... Uh, that he intellectually values in you. I'm kind of curious now. Well, we talk a lot about uh, science. We talk a lot about um, metaphysical stuff. We talk a lot about psychology. We talk a lot about uh, uh, different places in the world and perception of different countries and how... Uh, we talk about is... metaphysics? Yeah, we talk a lot about spirituality and metaphysical things. We talk a lot about quantum Well, physics. what is, uh, no. what, when you classify something as being metaphysical, what does that mean? Well, um, based on, uh, like, for example, we talk a lot about whether, and it's not just with him, but, like, for example, I'm very interested. Yeah, yeah, but what, what do you think metaphysical is? Uh, something to do with your consciousness and how it reflects into a physical world. That's what metaphysics is? Uh, yeah, you can. I mean, there's so many wide array of conversations. You can go about it. How, whether someone has, you know, the whole debate about consciousness, whether it's, you know, your mind is connected to your soul, or if there is a soul, or, you know, something that's kind of beyond just everyday reality. There's a lot of things to talk about, and it just doesn't have to be. Um, but you know what I mean. Like there's engaging conversation. No, no I mean I'm, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to figure this out, right? So yeah. uh, from my perspective, I'm trying to figure out these interesting intellectual conversations which can be had with you about metaphysics, and that that is the thing. Those are the things which is keeping this guy interested. Not the fact that you're much younger and he likely really enjoys having physical intimacy Well, the with thing you, is, is that... That's, he, that's just a yeah. guess. No, just no, no. Guess. I, I will directly rebuke your um, argument okay. is because he can have any other... There's plenty of attractive women that are younger than me out there, and he can have them. Can He's a very attractive man, and he... He can have them. Why would he choose me? So I'm saying there has to be something more than just plain physical attractiveness. Attractiveness to keep a relationship. Also, why How long, long have you choose... guys been dating? Oh, I mean, I don't know. I say so I don't know Seven because years? Wow. just to read, just to kind of get get back into this, and we'll tie this up so that other people can get back in. But I'm not really sure because you think that metaphysics is about consciousness, and that's really weird to me. But uh, even if even if we just kind of assumed that that's what it was. Um, I don't really understand why that would be the like the value add. No, right? I'm why not would that saying, be such a I'm not, value add? I'm not saying just that specifically. I'm not saying I'm this intellectual person. I'm saying 
stuff that he is interested in, I have the sim similar interest, and I can, we can engage in conversations that we both get reward from. So if you don't have that in a relationship, it's never going to work. I don't believe okay. that. Well, then let me ask you this last question. Let us assume for a moment when you met him that half of your face was burned off and your tongue was hanging out of your mouth, but you still had the stellar personality you have today. No, of course not. You think not. he would have dated you? No, I'm saying no, you have to have... No, I don't think he would have either. No, that's why I'm saying you have to have both. You can't have yeah, one well, without I, I don't know. I'm, what I'm saying is that I think one is a higher priority than another. If that's what the, I'm saying. Uh, no, because you know what? I'm not going to look the same in 10 years or 20 years and everybody ages. But why and would he you? He might not be there in ten years or exactly. twenty years. <laughs> yeah, right? but everybody like, ages. Yes. <laughs> you, you're well, not going to stay with one person just based on their appearance at when they're thirty-five or twenty-five. You have to. Yeah, but I mean, I think that. I mean, are you with your wife? I think, just, I think that there's a hierarchy of motivational factors. And so, if I had to look at the hierarchy of motivational factors, I think that a man who is at his age uh, is going to value in a woman at your age much more the physical intimacy than he is the long walks on the beach. That's, that's, now walk, that's I'm just the beach. my opinion. Can I, can but, I uh, are you, are you married? You know, I, bet, I, I bet you if he was next to you right now, he'd be like, high five. I, High five, not, right? He'd go, yeah, you're right. You're totally no, right, no, no, bro. No, no, no. I'm saying it's not, a, I've not, it's not only him I've been with. So it's not just based on one relationship I've had. Are mm -hmm. you married? What's your relationship status? Yeah, I'm married. Okay, so with your wife, do you just value her for her looks? Well, she's a mother. She's a mother of my children. Okay, so you value her more than just her looks, obviously. Yeah, of course, yeah. So she's you the mother chose of my, a partner. She's the mother of my children. So you chose her entire job and duty is to raise my genetic offspring into maturity. That's a super valuable job, right? Yeah. Do you have this, do you have this man's children? I want to have a ch child one day. Yeah, I know, but she yet. don't have it right now, right? But I'm saying if you chose your wife just based on appearance, you would trust her to raise your children? So obviously there's going to be more to why you're choosing that. Sure, there's contributing factors. I'm just saying there's a hierarchy which exists. Uh, I, I told you, keep you on, You keep on kind of well, presenting this. There has to the be counter two is, things. You have to be hang, on, hang on. Hang on. Chill, chill for a second. You keep on presenting this in a, in a kind of false uh, straw man way where you're saying that I'm saying it's either one or the other. I'm also agreeing with you that there's both in play. There has to be some personality to go with the beauty, ultimately for something long term. I'm not disputing yeah, that. Absolutely. What I I'm agree. disputing is whether or not they're equal to each other. Well, what I'm I disputing is whether or not there isn't a hierarchy here of what it is that is valued before the other thing. And so what I'm saying is that if, so here's, let me put it to you a different way. I think that your man, if he had two buttons he could push and he had to push one, Button one, it eliminated this great intellect. Or number two, it made you a massive burn victim who was ugly as sin. Which button do you think he would push? That's such an irrelevant question because answer I'm going to... Answer the question. Don't obfuscate. Answer. Yeah, I agree with you, obviously. Which button? Which answer, button? You gotta the first answer the one. question. Um, yeah, he's not going to want me to be a burn victim, but... Same question so to you. No, no, no. Does he value okay, more? Okay, well, let me ask you just a same question to you. If you were with someone who is very, your wife, right? Very attractive, uh -huh. but you, she was a, not your pers the personality you wouldn't want her to raise her children. How is that not equal? You would want someone that's because more attractive. What I'm saying is that there's a there's a hierarchical value which exists, and you just demonstrated it. I, you agree with me? Hang on, you agree with me because that if I don't have physical, his children right choose, now. Hang, why don't you let me answer the question you just I am, asked? Okay, sorry about that. Answer. So, if you say, if I ask you, there's two buttons. You must push one. Or he must push one. Which one would he push? The elimination of your beauty or the elimination of the long walks on the beach and the talks about metaphysics and the higher intellect? You think he would push the button which would eliminate that rather than the physical beauty. Oh, That's no, showing would, you uh, here no, no, that you would, in, in, hang on, in a bifurcated, in, in literally two options, you think that the one that he would push must have some higher value to him than the other. Yeah, he would definitely push the one where my beauty, for sure. 
and most other men that I've been with as well. Mm -hmm. I asked him that. So that's my only point. So you're agreeing with me that there's a hierarchy of needs when it comes to this. And I think it's more important if you're with someone and you want them to raise your children, have children with them, it's more important than the looks because the looks are going to fade. very. Yeah, I I could agree that if you ask me the same question right now, which would be more valuable to you, your wife's physical beauty or her ability to raise your children, if I had the same case for the buttons, I would push the one which eliminated her physical beauty and kept her into intellect intact exactly. to continue the raising of my genetic offspring. But your answer was different because you don't have his children. You think he values the hierarchy of your beauty first, then your intellect, and I agree. No, no, I know. I'm, I was uh, talking about when you first meet someone. When we first met, yes. And for me as well. Uh, it feels like it's changing the goalpost no, no, a no, little bit. No, no, no. I'm sorry if, I, uh, if I'm, I'm not changing my opinion at all. When you first meet, when you first date, yes. But when you decide to be with someone and you decide to go further in life with them, then you choose someone not based on the looks. Right, but if, if the, the looks don't come first, then there will be no... You won't yeah. even Other have thing. the option. You I agree with that. The but the way she can and, choose she not to And, and actually, she that. demonstrated that with the earlier question I asked. If she was a burn victim but had her same personality, would this guy be dating her right now? Answer, no. If right now he could select between these two things, which would he put, pick? The beauty would be higher on the hierarchy there as well. So just, what, uh, one final thing from the both of you on this, because I do want to get other people in. So I'm, uh, I'm just saying that once again, I was arguing that it's exactly the same uh, importance. Yeah, you meet someone and you like how they look and you like how they speak to you, for me at least. Well. If why not just be a hook up, Why not he just hook up with her if if it's yeah. just about the physical appearance? He chose to be in a committed long term relationship with her, rather yeah. than yeah, and but, but you can hook up doing... with somebody and they they might be dumber than a box of rocks. Like it's and you can easier, still right? you can still wait, hook up I'm with them based on the physical wait, wait. appearance. Actually, physical I want to I want to challenge this idea that. Because you mentioned intellect, and then you mentioned dumber than dumber than a box of rocks. I'm just well, saying. let's bring in because we're talking about intellect now. Let's bring in uh, personality disposition. So perhaps they're not particularly intelligent. They're dumber than a box of rocks, but they're they're a good person. They have good morals. They have good values, and they have a pleasant disposition and personality. Versus, you can be highly intelligent and be a f- uh, absolute pain in the ass to be around. You can have a negative world outlook. You could be, uh, you know, name any sort of negative personality trait. You can be intelligent and still have those negative personality traits. Yeah. So this whole trope of like, well, my intelligence, honestly, I kind of would rather just chill with, uh, we don't even have to talk and I can still like you. No, I, I totally agree. I'd rather agree. just watch House of the Dragon. <laughs> No, I wasn't, I wasn't, when I was saying that, I'm not, I'm not saying about intelligence, I'm saying more about personality, that you click with somebody else. Yeah, but the the capability to have a conversation, I mean, it was somewhat related to intelligence. Yeah, but someone is one dumber than a box of rocks, when you have a life issue that everybody has, would you rather go through life and through life's issues with someone who's dumber than a box of rocks? But this is really weird, because we, we keep on agreeing with this point over and over, or at least I was. I mean, I keep agreeing with your point. Yes, both are important. Yes, both are important. Yes, both are important. One more time. Yes, both are important. Equal. But does that does that mean equal though? To What's my is, my yes. argument is they're not equal. Not that they're not important, but not that's equal. your argument, and my argument is that equal, and that's it. Right, if your argument right. truly was that they were equal, then when the button scenario came up, each whichever one he pushed should have no value merit to him whatsoever because they're both equal. No, no, no. It's Sorry, at a different that was the last point. word. That was the last yeah. word. Uh, to wrap up the thing on the <laughs> 10 to, uh, I think we left off. Not with me. I didn't, I didn't answer. The I, 10 to 20, I think. It oh, yeah, hard. it's definitely you. Yeah. Uh, do you think you'll be better looking in 10 years? Um, You're 22 now. Do you think you'll be better looking at 32? No. Okay. What about you? You're 19. Do you think you'll be better looking at 29 than you are now at 19? I do, because that's when my mom said that she peaked, and I'm like... Okay. What about uh, 39 compared to now? Probably not. No. Okay. What about 39 to 29? Like, which... Uh, probably 29. I feel okay. like you peak in your mid-20s to early 30s. I feel All like right. that's, like, peak. Uh, what about you? <laughs> better looking in 10 years? <laughs> no, but Do you think I, this um, is your peak right now at 53? Well, I will say I'm better looking than I was 10 years ago. 
So mm -hmm. I lost 130 pounds wow. in last uh, six years ago. Okay. So I feel like I'm better looking now, but I don't think I will be better looking in 10 years. All right. And then what about you? Better looking in 10 years or better looking now at 19? No. No? Okay. And then what about you? Better looking at 44 <laughs> or better looking at 34 now? <laughs> I'll try to look the same. I don't know. Maybe... Uh, um, 44 is still young to me. I think you'll start declining after that. <laughs> I See? love hearing exactly. about everyone declining. I know, I know, I know. I'm saying, that, okay, I, I'm way better decline. looking now than I was when I was 24. It does. So I don't know. It does. Okay. Is, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. I to live healthy. Wait, so better looking. Now or in 10 years. Can you uh, get off your phone back there and rejoin the table kindly? I don't. Mm. Fam family oh, yeah, emergency. I mean, of course, the, you know, as you age. But I think in 10 years, we'll have that pill that reverses. <laughs> I mean, there are different ways to, you know, Wait, like so Botox and, and things like that. I mean, there yeah. are so, ways okay. to reverse. Hold on. I'm talking about let naturally. Me give the, let me add a qualifier, all else being equal. <laughs> so if she could get Botox now and get it then, I don't think I'll that's the Botox. framework. Okay, well, she doesn't. Do okay. Botox. And honestly, yeah, a 44-year-old with Botox looks like a 44-year-old with Botox. Mm, exactly. Yeah, that's why I don't, she don't think I'll look, do any of that. She's not 44 who looks 34. Um, Amber, what's that one shot that you can get that, that like, Miley Cyrus gets into? NAD. NAD? No, NAD. Brian Johnson. NAD is like a... Age. It's like... I don't know the... I don't know the... I'm not a fucking doctor. Okay, but. so anyways... Yes, of course 